my name is Isaac Trout. I'm a junior at Grand Island Senior High School and I play basketball. All right, so you had 57 points on uh, February 6th against uh, Norfolk. And uh, take us to that game. I mean, you guys went into overtime. Boy, that's, that's a school high right there. The 57, <laughs> that's got to be awesome. Yeah, it was, a, it was a fun experience. Uh, guys did a really good job of getting me the ball in spots where I didn't score from that I had advantages in. And, you know, they just kept feeding me the ball all night. You know, they thought that I was the biggest mismatch on the floor. And, uh, you know, I thought I did a pretty good job of hitting shots, knocking out shots, and really leading, leading the team to a victory. Usually a guy your size is a center, but coach uses you more as a point guard, and that's kind of an interesting thing, but you're such a good shooter that it works out. Yeah, uh, he gives me a ton of freedom. Uh, I've got a great relationship with him, and it's just fun being able to, you know, be, be so tall and still play point guard. You know, there's a lot of mismatches around the floor, you know, and I don't really need to play the five that often, so it, it's fun. To look back at any games this year, maybe you guys uh, should have won but didn't. Uh, perhaps the game the week before the Norfolk game got down some some free throws, you missed some in there, and that's not characteristic of you. Is that a game maybe that stands out in your mind? Oh, are you talking about the Carney one? The Carney, I'm sorry, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, there's been a couple other games that I thought we should have won for sure. And so it's just good to pull out, you know, overtime victories. You know, we got another one uh, this past weekend against Omaha North as well. So those, those are big wins for us, you know, the 50-50 games that we need to come out with, you know, on top. Any, uh, what is your goal for this season for basketball? Have you reached those yet? Uh, no, I haven't reached them. Uh, my goals are to make it to the state tournament, and you know we're pretty close. Uh, we got one regular season game left, and then two district games that we need to win. Then we'll make it, and then another goal of ours is to win state. You know we're we're a long ways away from that right now, but you know I think it'd be really cool, and I think we've got a shot. Talk about your teammates. You guys have been together for several years. A good camaraderie there. What's it like to you're gonna miss those guys next year too? Yeah, uh, we're really only graduating just a few guys, so we're gonna have a bunch of guys returning next year. You know, the court, the nucleus of our team is returning other than a few. So I think we'll be really solid next year as well. And, you know, we have such good chemistry that, you know, it makes for a good time. And then uh, you played the Heartland Hoops Classic this last weekend, as you mentioned, against Omaha North. That had to be awesome. That's just a fun atmosphere. Oh, yeah, for sure. A uh, ton of people were there watching, supporting us. And it was a really cool environment to play in, you know, not what we're used to, you know. Beginning of the year, we only had two family members per player. So it was just a lot different. and. You know, you can just feel the energy in there, so it was, it was fun. Fun question. Somebody uh, vertically challenged like myself never gets to dunk. What's it feel like to dunk? It's a good feeling, especially <laughs> when somebody's contesting you at the rim. Uh, you know, you just see it on posters and stuff. So that's, that's probably one of the most fun things to do in basketball. Awesome. Have you thought about after high school? What's the plan? No, not yet. Uh, I've, I've got a couple options that I'm really looking into, and, you know, I'll probably make a decision sometime next year.